we left off, I made sure to explain how I stuffed this can completely full of eggshells, and then I put this can in my fire pit or my fireplace in the coals until it was fully cooked. And now you can see on the side, I've got a little window opened up here. All the eggshells are completely cooked and they're like powdery so I can make them into a fine powder. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got a little bit of can that came in with this. Pretty easy to separate, but everything else is gonna be primarily calcium carbonate. And uh, you can get the same thing from applying lime to your garden. But around each one of these little tomato plants, I'm just gonna do a little dusting like this. Now because it's a lot like activated charcoal, when you cook it to this point, you make it hydrophobic, it's going to dissolve easily and bring all of the delicious calcium down with it into the root system. And hopefully, if we did it right, none of our tomatoes are going to get blossom end rot. And that's the plan. So we just put a little bit here and there. And that's it. So it's like a three finger pinch for each little seedling. I've got a couple over here. And I'll continue to do that until I'm done. But that's how I utilize it in the garden. It just turns into dust after you cook it and it makes it to where it'll dissolve faster. You can also make calcium acetate with this by just adding some vinegar. So if you add vinegar, you can make calcium acetate, but then you have raised the pH of what you're adding to the soil. This will help neutralize the pH, and that's what I'm looking for. I don't wanna raise the pH and then have to lower it or mess around with that too much. So this is, the, this is what I'm going for right here. Anyway, just want to share that with you guys, let you take a look at that, and uh, I'll catch up with you again next time.